Hi, this is Tarek Sami and Manos Berlakis, and this is case 184 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which there were multiple CTOs in the same coronary vessel. The patient had previous coronary bypass and multiple percutaneous coronary interventions and presented with medical refractory angina. The culprit vessel was the right coronary artery CTO that had an ambiguous proximal cap and the distal territory was supplied through septal collaterals from a first septal branch. There was a patent lima to LAD as well as a painted saphenous vein graft to the obtuse marginal branch. However, the saphenous vein graft to the right coronary artery was occluded. The patient was referred for PCI of the right coronary artery CTO. This is a CTO with an ambiguous proximal cap. It did have a long occlusion length although there was some filling in the middle of the lesion through acute marginal branches. And uh, there was filling of the distal vessel both uh, through ipsilateral and contralateral collaterals. There is this uh, septal branch going to what appears to be the PDA, and there is also an ipsilateral collateral coming from the proximal right coronary artery, and it seems to supply the right posterior lateral vessel. Our plan was to go with a primary retrograde because of a proximal cap ambiguity. So we have an EBU guide in the left main and an amplets on the right. And then we did surfing using a SUO3 and then a Xeon black guide wire. That uh, did seem to go in the right direction, but um, then the patient developed chest discomfort and ST segment changes, which we thought might have been due to ischemia because there was a lesion in the proximal LED. So we performed balloon angioplasty of the lesion and then returned to surfing of the septal branch. We were then able to cross and then advance a microcatheter distally. We performed a distal tip injection that actually does not show much of a vessel. There appears to be a blunt occlusion of the distal RCA of the origin of the right PDA. We um, had difficulty with crossing. We advanced a six French guideliner in the retrograde guide, and this is a fine cross microcatheter. We then uh, used uh, a Gladius Mongo guide wire, and we were then able to knuckle a retrograde going close to the proximal right coronary artery. And then we switched to a pilot 200, and now we're very close uh, to the proximal right coronary artery, essentially clarifying the proximal cap ambiguity. Now that we had a target for our undergrade wire, we uh, proceeded with uh, undergrade wiring uh, using a Gaia NEX3 wire, which we were able to advance next to the retrograde um, guide wire. And then we switched this for a Pilot 200 that uh, successfully knuckled along the course of the retrograde guide wire. So we now have the two wires dancing with each other, which is a favorable condition for completing our reverse card. We advanced uh, a guide extension, but had difficulty getting it far into the vessel. We inflated uh, a balloon and then used the draft technique, which is uh, deflate and retract into the fenestration. So essentially, the balloon was deflated at the same time we advanced the retrograde guide wire that successfully entered into the undergrade guide catheter. The microcatheter was advanced, and then we externalized an R350 guide wire and predilated the entire right coronary artery with a 2.0 millimeter balloon. And this is what we see. Unfortunately, there was a CTO of the right posterior lateral. So we do have some filling into the PDA. However, there is a CTO in the posterior lateral, and also there is an occlusion of the PDA immediately distal to the touchdown of the septals that we used for retrograde access. So we now have uh, two additional CTOs. We had the RCA CTO, but now we have a PDA CTO and a right posterior lateral CTO. We first uh, tried to address the right posterior lateral CTO that could be, could be visualized using the ipsilateral collateral from the right. We used a Sasuki dual loom microcaster. We had difficulty advancing a wire, but eventually we were able to advance a Pilot 200 that knuckled into the posterior lateral. To avoid extending the dissection, we inserted uh, a microcatheter. This is a fine cross 
into the ipsilateral epicardial collateral. And what this demonstrates is that actually we're in the extra plaque position. We tried to redirect the Gaia third, but again, we're in the extra plaque position. As a result, we decided to do re-entry. So we advanced a stingray balloon along the origin of the right posterior lateral. We used the Gaia third and the stick and drive technique, and actually the Gaia third, as we can see here, successfully re-entered into the distal true lumen. We then uh, uh, used the Sasuki microcatheter, trying to advance to a more favorable branch of the right posterior lateral, and this was eventually successful. We then uh, predilated the right posterior lateral, and we were debating what to do for the PDA. So we did an IVUS along the origin of the um, PDA CTO, and unfortunately, there was uh, calcium there. So actually, we had difficulty. Uh, determining exactly where the cap was and we could not visualize well because of significant calcification. We used again the dual microcatheter, the Suzuki, and tried various guide wires in an attempt to advance a wire into the PDA. We also did repeat retrograde attempts, thinking that maybe there was a septal collecting a little further down on the PDA, but unfortunately we were unable to make the connection between the distal portion of the PDA and the more proximal portion. At this point, we had used uh, more than five gray air kerma radiation dose, and we decided to stop attempts to recanalize uh, the PDA. Instead, uh, what we did is we stand it all the way from the posterior lateral after removing the retrograde guide wire. We never want to jail the retrograde guide wire. And then stand it with five dragaluting stents, essentially all the way from the right posterior lateral to the ostium of the right coronary artery. And this provided a nice result. We did have flow into the posterior lateral. We did have flow into the proximal segment of the right PDA. But then there's another CTO more distally into the PDA, which we elected not to treat during this procedure. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that sometimes it may be difficult to assess the complexity of a CTO. In this case, we had not realized that there were multiple CTOs, RCA CTO, right posterior lateral CTO, and right PDA CTO. We did have an ambiguous proximal cap that was successfully addressed using retrograde crossing and advancing the retrograde knuckle all the way to the proximal RCA. Then for recanalizing the right posterior lateral CTO, we used the ipsilateral injections by using a microcatheter inserted into the collateral. This way we minimize the dissection into the main vessel. And we used the stingray for re-entry into the right posterior lateral that successfully entered into the vessel, allowing the canalization of the vessel. And finally, for the reverse card, you use the draft technique inflate, deflate balloon, bullet pack, simultaneously pushing the retrograde guide wire that successfully resulted in advancement of the retrograde wire into the undergrade guide catheter. Thank you.